Welcome to today's maths class. Today we'll be looking at metric conversions. So let's get right into it. So our objectives for today are 1. Convert by multiplying or dividing. 2. Convert by moving the decimal. So alright. So in order for any conversion to take place, we need our metric units. So here we have our metric line and it's range from milli to kilo so we have milli centi deci deca hecto kilo and our units are interchangeable where we could use meters liters or grams all right so how do we convert so let's solve this example together convert one kilometer to centimeter first step Determine whether you multiply or divide or move decimal left or right. Step 2. Use method 1 or method 2. Step 3. Find a solution. So alright, as you can see, there is some color coding. So, multiplying or divide is method 1. Move decimal left or right, method 2. So let's look at method 1. Conversion by multiplying or dividing. So as you remember, we're moving from kilometer to meter. So what does one kilometer equals in centimeter? So here we have our metric line. And as you remember, as we move on the metric line, we move by powers of 10. All right. So each time we move, to reach to centi, we move by the power of 10. But here we need to determine whether we multiply or divide. So knowing that we are moving from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we know that we should multiply. So how many times do we multiply? So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we should multiply 10 by itself 5 times giving us 10 to the 5th power or simply put 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 which is equal to 100,000 all right so 100,000 centimeters in 1 kilometer all right quick maths let's do this convert 74,000 centigrams to gram so using the method 1 Step 1. First determine whether you multiply or divide. Gram is larger than centigram, therefore you divide. Step 2. 1 centigram is 100th one of a gram, which means you need to divide by 100. Let's see if we're on the right track. So remember, centigram to gram. So here we are. So moving to grams, we divide by 10 each time. So divide by 10, divide by 10, which means that we divide by 100. So yes, we are on the right track. So solution 74,000 divided by 100 equals 740 grams. So let's look at method two. Conversion by moving the decimal. One kilometer equal how many centimeter? So here, instead of multiplying or dividing by powers of 10, what we actually do is that we move the decimal as we move along the metric line. All right, so kilo to centi, how many times do we move? One, two, three four five so that means that we move a decimal five times also hence we get 
a hundred thousand and as we move we use zero as a placeholder all right so one kilometer equal one hundred thousand centimeter so let's look at another example so before we do that here is a little diagram which re-emphasize what we just did so pause the video and take a look all right so let's get into the example so change 547.8 millimeter into meters all right so step one first determine whether you need to move decimal left or right meter is larger than millimeter therefore you move left all right so since there are three jumps to reach meters from millimeter then you have to move the decimal three spaces left all right so let's see if we're on the right track so we're moving from millimeter to meter so here we are at milli so let's see how many times we jump one two three so yes indeed we are on the right track so that means that 547.8 moving a decimal three spaces to the left we will then get 0 0.5478 meters quick maths let's look at example two change 52 kilometers into meters all right step one first determine whether you need to move decimal left or right meter is smaller than kilometer therefore you move right step two since there are three jumps to reach meters from kilometer then you have to move the decimal three spaces right so let's check that so we're at kilo and we need to reach two meters so let's see if we move three spaces right one two three so yes indeed we are on the right track so solution here we go so as we move we always have to put zero for a placeholder so if you move three times we're going to put three zeros all right so here it is actually jump three times all right so our answer will now be 52,000 kilometers all right quick maths so assessment keep calm don't be anxious math is delicious so here we have a little worksheet so pause the video and have a go at it all right remember to like share and subscribe all right and i hope i will see you once more